Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I will show you how you can apply the Power BI text function average. So average is something that you will use quite a lot uh, in your reports and dashboard as it gives the measures like average sales, average order quantity, average profit. So whatever value that you are having it gives you the average and why it is important is because most of the time whenever we want to look at let's say uh, along with the total sum or the percentages average is also one of the key measure which basically gives a ballpark figure as to how we are doing when we are uh, looking at our business matrix and that's why many times it is uh, present in our reports and dashboards along with the other metrics so I will show you how you can create it and before that a quick information about the uh, the three links which is present in the description one is the data set that is related to this video so that you can also practice second is the uh, the link for google sheet which contains all the power bi videos which i have posted so far on my channel so that you can easily access it by searching it and a link is given in front of that you can utilize that link and the third link is for the uh, google data studio report which contains all 900 plus videos related to various different topics like the click view click sense power uh, the power bi is already part of this um, tableau python all of those are present over there and you can quickly search there all right so now with that information let's move ahead and create the average sales for our metric all right to do that what we need to do is click on the new measure and once we click on the new measure it will give us the formula bar and we will going to write the name of the measure which is the average sales and we will use this function which is average once we have average then we will provide the sales as the field or whatever field of our interest and close the parenthesis that's the minimum number of setting or the minimum setting that you need to do to find the average sales for your metrics all right once you are done you click on this sign over here and the field will be created with the name average sales and it is present over here right to add this to this table we will click on this table over here right and uh, come over here on the average sales and drag it to this values so i will just scroll this up so the last value is present and i will put it right after the last value all right so here we have the average sales coming as the uh, value with two decimal points we can format it if we want it but mainly what i want to show you is how the average sales is coming so over here you have maximum order sales you have average sales you have minimum recorded sale this is the total sales that you are having so it gives you some sort of a ballpark idea as the range is quite high from lower value to higher value to the average value and uh, gives gives us an impression as to a lot of activity is going on and because of which the the ranges are pretty high but all in all you get to know what is your average sales for these categories and very quickly i will just show you in case if you need to remove the decimals because it does not make a whole lot of sense then what you can do is you can come first of all to this formatting then field formatting and then choose the field which you want to format like average sales over here and for value decimal points instead of auto you use zero and the decimal points are gone all right so that's what you need to do and i wanted to show you uh, finally what uh, how you can format these fields and that's about it i'll meet you now in the new video with the new topic